We've all seen the signs. Get into real estate investing with zero money down. Get into owning homes such as the one you see in this video. What the hell does that mean? We're going to discuss what it means to get into real estate as an investor with no money and bad credit in this video. And if you're just now finding me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Gains video. What are Life Gains? Improving the quality of your life in every area of your life. Our cornerstones are fitness, technology, all things money saving and money making, and definitely real estate is one of those. If you really, really enjoy the content on this channel, go ahead and join some of my other social media links. I've got Instagram, I've got Twitter, I've got Facebook, and you can also make a donation to this channel on my Patreon link. Let's jump into this video so you can understand what is meant by the term zero money down and bad credit. Get started investing in real estate. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host, Uncle Mont, rocking my medium as hell Ninja Turtle shirt. Trying to give y'all a definition of what does it mean to no money down, bad, no credit, and make money in real estate. And we're going to talk about that right now. But first, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this craft, giving y'all a better YouTube experience, something definitely better to look at. Hopefully y'all can retain my information a little better. Go over to shoplifegains.com, read my blog, buy some gear. I've got some stuff up there about getting started in real estate. We'll talk about that up there as well. So you see all these signs when you're riding around with your sweetie pie in the car, you're riding, you're rolling. You see a sign that says, I buy houses. You see a sign that says, looking for a real estate apprentice. You see signs that say, um, own real estate, no money down, zero down. You see it on YouTube, you see it all over the place. What does it mean? The definition of that and 90% of the general speaking is you becoming what they call a wholesaler. And to break that down further, being a wholesaler just means, have you ever rolled around and you seen a house that looks like it's underkept? Basically, you find out who owns that home, you make an offer to that house, and you don't put, put any money down or you just make an offer so you get a contract on the house. And then you take that contract and you sell it to an investor who's into buying homes. You've not come out of your pocket for anything except for maybe 10 or $100, whatever you gave the seller to hold the home, and that's it. That's 90% of what they mean when, you, when they say, zero down to own real estate, your wholesaler. If you want to get into real estate and you don't have money and your credit is bad, wholesaling is generally where everybody starts at. And I would encourage, I would even say that every person who's in a real estate investing, you need to know a little bit about wholesaling because those are your front line deals. Those are where you meet people who are in distress and you come in and you help them out of that distress that they're in by buying the home for penny on the dollars, preventing them from having credit damage, for preventing them from foreclosing, you are providing a service. So let's talk about what you need to know before you get into wholesaling. The number one thing I would say, and this video, this, I'm doing a series on real estate investing. This is video number one. You need to learn and read. If you don't like to read, at the very least, I want you to listen to some podcasts. You can continue to follow my channel. I'll be putting up information to help you out. But you can also listen to a, thing, a, a podcast called Bigger Pockets. They also have a YouTube channel. You can go follow my big homie, Max Maxwell, on his podcast, but he also has a YouTube channel. So step number one is learning the terms, learning the nuances of real estate itself, and then breaking that down and understanding what wholesaling means. The next thing I would tell you to do as you're trying to get everything done is putting together your team. What, what should your team consist of when you're first starting out? You need to know a good real estate, real estate attorney. You wanna know a realtor that deals with real estate investing. You also might wanna meet a property manager who's dealt with people doing real estate investing. 
go meet these people. Get to know them. Just learn from them. Tell them what your goal is. Tell them you're trying to get into real estate as an investor and wholesaler, and you are looking for members of your team, and you're trying to figure out who you can learn from as you make your progression. Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's not going to be receptive of you. Everybody wasn't receptive of me. Yours truly, the sex as hell host. But I kept turning and turning and finally got some trusted people. And believe it or not, these trusted members of your team, you can learn a lot from them. Special other person you might want to add to your team is a real estate accountant. Because as the tax laws change year to year, he can keep you up to date on the different ways you can save money and run an effective business based on the tax principle. So that's the other thing you want to do. Grab the members of your team. Next thing I would say you want to do is go to your local RIA meetings or search on Google meetups for real estate in your area. You might can go there first to find all the other people I mentioned that you would need to have on your team. This is all you do before you even start thinking about you know, marketing, looking for home. Before you do any of that, do these steps first. Go to the RIA meeting or go and do search, Google search meetups and put in real estate in your area. Start showing your face in those meetings. See who the movers and shakers are in those meetings. Tell them who you are, what you're trying to do, and then ask them, can you meet up with them? Buy them coffee, take them to lunch. See if one of them will become your mentor because ultimately you might want to have a mentor in this game and they can help let you know the specialty items you need to know for your specific community. And if you can't find nobody else, y'all know the sex is hell. Host is here to help you out. I can help you do a little mentoring. Shoot me some emails, shoot me some messages. But for this particular video, that is it. That is step number one in real estate investing. That is the definition of what people mean when they say zero money down. And the thing about real estate, ladies and gentlemen, you will find so many people are willing to share information in real estate because the network is how you make things work in real estate. Because at some point in time, I don't care how rich you are, everybody runs out of money. And when they run out of money, they're going to want other people that they can use to syndicate deals. So that's why I would say real estate is definitely something you should look at. Y'all know I've done it and I'm going to continue to do it and I'm here to help. Let me know if there's a way Life Games can help you make it happen. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a Life Game. If you made it this far through my video, please consider making a donation to this channel on Patreon, as we're always trying to continue to bring you guys that great Life Games content to help you make improvements in your individual life. Go over to shoplifegames.com, read the blog, buy some gear if you like something that's in the store. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.